Gonzaga has won eight of the last ten West Coast Conference Tournament Finals. Can they make it nine of 11 by beating St. Mary's tonight? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down the West Coast Conference Tournament Final. And let's bring in our CBSSports.com college basketball columnist, Gary Parrish, to break it down. And uh, Gary, we know Gonzaga is going to be in the NCAA Tournament regardless of whether uh, it wins tonight. St. Mary's, on the other hand, that's the question mark. They have Patty Mills back for a second game. Do they deserve an at-large bid? I think so. I mean, they might have to win this, depending on how the selection committee is going to look at them. But the way I look at them and the way I think people ought to view this team is that it's 19-1 and with Patrick Mills in the lineup, period, end of story. Now, I know they took some losses once he went down with the, uh, with the broken hand. But, you know, any time, as we saw it with when Blake Griffin went down at Oklahoma, when Stephen Curry went down at Davidson, you know, any time you rely so heavily on one guy and he is suddenly not available – you, you know, it's not only a, a shock to your roster, but you have to adjust. And they had to, it took some time for them to adjust. So they took some bad losses, but once they got it back together, uh, they were fine. And then they got him back in the lineup, obviously, last night, and they won a game there. Now, let's be honest, he was not great last night, but he still got two weeks, two and a half weeks, to be ready for the NCAA tournament. And again, I can't stress this enough. The way the NCAA Selection Committee is supposed to look at this stuff is what team, what roster will be available when you play in the NCAA tournament. In other words, back in 2000 when Kenya Martin broke his leg, they did not uh, judge Cincinnati based on what, they did, what Cincinnati did with Kenya Martin. They gave the Bearcats a two seed instead of a one seed, even though by any measuring stick they deserved a one. The reverse should, should work in this circumstance. Um, St. Mary's is clearly an NCAA tournament team with Patrick Mills in the lineup. He will clearly be in the lineup for the NCAA tournament. By, uh, by that definition, they should get an at-large bid, but I'm, uh, I'm worried for St. Mary's sake that the committee might not look at it exactly the same way I do. Now, having said that, they don't have to worry about the committee if they can beat Gonzaga tonight, Gary. So that's certainly uh, something they have to work on. Uh, they lost to the Zags by nine in the game that uh, Mills broke his hand. They lost by just two when they played without him. What do they have to do to beat Gonzaga tonight? You know what? I, honestly, a lot of it falls on Patrick Mills, and, and that's, I don't know that that's good tonight because let's be honest. I love the kid. He was not great last night. Three of 12 from the field, two of nine from three-point range. He had three turnovers. Um, it was a, you know, a perfectly reasonable reaction uh, to his first game back in, in a month, more than a month, but it was not the type of game that makes you think, okay, this kid is back and ready to go uh, dominate Gonzaga the way he did in the first half. Remember, the way St. Mary's was winning that first meeting, he hit six threes and was just completely dominating in that first half. He's got to do, look, I don't think he needs six threes in the first half, but he's got to be very, very good for St. Mary's to have a shot against Gonzaga because that Gonzaga team is very good. Yes, it is very good, and it's a team that's coming off uh, 13 triples against Santa Clara uh, on Sunday night, Gary, and in a game they were up by 40 points against the Bronx. You talk about this team as being very good. Even if you take away one guy, you don't take away the rest because they have so many scores. So how do you stop Gonzaga? Who do you attempt to try and stop? Well, I, I think it starts, you know, they run a lot of stuff through Matt Bolden. And, uh, and, and you know, he's a solid, little, do a little bit of everything type guy. I don't know that you have to necessarily stop, to shut down any one guy. But what you have to do is not let them get going offensively because they are explosive and they can run away from you quickly. I don't think Gonzaga is the type of team that's going to shut you down defensively, keep you from scoring. But they can absolutely score in bunches and run away from you. So, you know, look, if you had athletes like Memphis has and you could just out-athlete them, like Memphis did, that's the way to do it. The problem is St. Mary's doesn't, in any West Coast Conference team, doesn't have those type of athletes. So you need one of your guys to get going, and that brings us back to Patrick Mills. Patrick Mills, maybe uh, Diamond Simpson or Omar Samham can wear them down in the paint, and maybe St. Mary's can get the advantage there. Gary, uh, it's, a, it's a big game. WCC final, usually a lot of fun. Uh, this one in Las Vegas, who do you like? You know, Gonzaga, and I, just because I th Gonzaga, I think, is the better team, particularly with Mills just in his second game back. It would be better for the league for St. Mary's to go ahead and knock this out. Then you're a two-bid league, and it makes the, everybody's job easier. I suspect that it won't go that way. Gonzaga will win tonight, and then it'll be on the committee. How do you want to look at this, as an entire body of work or what they've done of what St. Mary's has done with Patrick Mills. Even if they lose tonight, they're 19-2 and two overall with Patrick Mills in the lineup. I think that's good enough. But, again, if Randy Bennett can knock this out tonight, it'll make the next week a whole lot easier. All right, we'll see how it all plays out. Gary Parrish, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you throughout the week. All right, Jason. All right, folks, for more on the West Coast Conference Final, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. And don't forget, March Madness On Demand is back. Watch every game from the first round to the NCAA championship all online for free. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Gary Parrish, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.